What's going on you guys? It's been a while. So, this isn't going to be the normal vlogs I usually do right now. So, what's going on in the gun community? So right now, over here in Washington State, um, bump stocks are just about being banned. And right now, the Washington State Patrol says here is to set up a buyback program for people who already own the devices such as bump stocks or uh, fire rate enhancing um, who already own the devices they will buy them for 115 bucks a piece okay starting July 1st the bill would make it illegal for anyone in Washington to manufacture or sell bump stocks then in July 2019 it will become illegal to own or possess a bump stock in the state this year Senate Democrats who hold a new one vote majority have pressed forward on a range of proposals they would reduce gun violence. Guys, give me a break here. Alright, so here's how this works um, law abiding citizens are not the ones who shoot up schools or did the Las Vegas shooting. Okay, that's just how it is. I am a law-abiding citizen, and I own a bunch of firearms. I could set it down, tell it to go do whatever criminals freaking do, and it won't do anything. You, as a human being, have to make the initiative to pick up the firearm and assault people with it. Okay? I could take this freaking stapler. And I can assault someone with it. It's an assault stapler. People are not going to ban staplers. Okay? People die more in car wrecks. Teenagers die more in car wrecks. And because of texting, people don't ban the phones. They make law against people using their phones, but you can't control what anyone else will do. And considering how the system failed with the Florida shooter, okay? They saw him many times, they had many warnings that anybody would possibly say, hey, uh, we need to do something here, many freaking times. All right? Now, me personally, I got in an argument with someone and said some pretty hurtful things and some wrong things, and the school suspended me. I mean, I can't say, I don't remember exactly what they were because I was freshman year and I'm a senior now, but they freaking, they acted upon me pretty freaking quick, okay? And I had no intentions of hurting anybody. I just got in an argument with someone and we just didn't agree on some stuff, okay? And for something little like that, they reacted pretty quickly. And with someone who's writing about how they're gonna kill people or how they want to do it in class and they report it and nothing is done, that's the system's fault. And now they're trying to blame someone else. They're trying to blame us, the law-abiding citizens who Respect the Second Amendment and it, you don't get it. People don't get it. And the thing that disappoints me so much is that we elected people that said that they were going to take care of this problem. They're going to say, oh, we're going to leave your guns alone. Don't worry, your Second Amendment rights are saved. Excuse me. Um, doesn't seem like it. It seems like things are getting put forward more now than there was in the Obama administration. And that's bad. That's really bad. I don't understand what the hell is going on, but I'll tell you what. You got your first term to fix this dude, and I guarantee you'll not get reelected. I'm serious. This is how I get through my day. So, what is it? that people feel the need to punish innocent people for someone for something someone else did okay that's like you like your siblings screwing up breaking something or whatnot and the entire family gets punished because of a kid all right no the parents is going to punish that freaking kid that did something wrong they're not going to punish the rest of the siblings for it okay and I just don't get it. And also, they want to change the law to properly uh, own or buy a firearm to 21. 
okay? I'm joining the United States Army. I'm going in as infantry, 11th Bravo, all right? They're going to send me out there with probably an M4 or a SOP, whatever they issue me, and they're going to trust me to go out to another country and use that firearm. I'm 18. And you're going to take away my rights when I come back and I can't own a firearm or buy one? That's ridiculous. That's not going to happen. Might as well just move to another freaking country. So... If you're going to do that, then change all of them to 21. Voting, the draft, joining the military, buying weapons. I mean, all those stand for 18-year-olds. Yeah, you can't buy a pistol until you're 21. That's because when you're 21, you can get a concealed permit. Okay. So they want to make it to all the other ones. They don't understand. And it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. And all because the black guns are scary. The AR-15 is scary. I own a 22 LR AR-15. All right. You can show someone a 10-22 rifle and they look and they go, "Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, that doesn't scare me." But if you bring up an AR-15 with quad rail and a Trijicon sight on it, don't see why you'd need it for a 22. But that's the that's what I'm using for an example. Uh, they'll look at that and they go, "Nope, we don't want you to have that." does the exact same thing. You can even properly customize a 1022 to do the same thing an AR-15 could. For real. You put a quad rail on it, you can put optics on it. You can't put a bump stock on it, however. I'm sure there's ways. But why are you blaming these guns because they look good? Or look bad? Scary. It's because it makes you feel good. What's the issue? Okay? Criminals are criminals because they don't abide by the laws. That's why they are criminals. I am not a criminal. I don't feel like I should be treated like a freaking criminal, all right? So, what is it? What's going on, all right? So the main thing that I feel like we should do is contact your local representatives and get them to wake the hell up. Because all these kids that are freaking marching, I guarantee I'm the same age as them. I'm the same age as some of those kids and that jackass that loves to go on TV and just talk about the gun rights and say, oh, you don't know what it's like to have an AR-15 point at you and shot at. Excuse me? Kids my age went into freaking Normandy, jumped out of a goddamn airplane, and they were shot at, not by an AR-15. They were shot at by worse. Those calibers are a lot heavier than just a 5.56, five, all right? That offends me personally. I know a lot about guns. If people were more educated at my age about weapons and properly, I guarantee you would not have them march. They know nothing about it. I guarantee you could show them an AR-15, they probably wouldn't even know how to use it. All they know is to pull the trigger. They don't even know where the charging handle is. They don't know how to operate this stuff, okay? And if you are a Second Amendment supporter and you are going to allow them to just get it inch by inch because if you give them an inch, they're gonna take a foot. You know, the way things are gonna go now is I'm afraid that you know we're gonna get into some pretty heavy arguments to where it's gonna get violent. Eventually, a lot of Second Amendment supporters are gonna get tired of it and take stuff into their own hands. Okay, not a threat. I'm just saying that there are people who would do that. I wouldn't do that unless I was attacked, rules of engagement, don't fire unless you've been fired upon, all right? Especially if it's in your own country. People move here so that they have freedom, rights, and the pursuit of happiness, all right? Those are your human rights, and people come here to be free. So you're slowly taking our freedom away inch by inch. The way that our country is going to is alarming and not what we expected as voters during the election okay we expected things to go pretty fine and dandy yeah Trump is getting some stuff done but there are some important stuff like uh, the Hearing Protection Act a lot of gun uh, owners wanted to 
shorten the length it takes to buy a suppressor. And it's safe. Suppressors are good so that you don't blow your ears off. Yeah, wear ear protection. Okay. The moral of this statement that I'm trying to make is stand up for what you believe in. All right. And as right wing people during the election and still now, we are frowned upon and we are kicked off the dock because of all this hatred going on in the world. And we don't feel like we have a voice anymore due to the election stuff, due to the protesting and all the violence going on. A lot of us are just hiding in our indoors because we don't want to affiliate with that. We are done, okay? Just let all the leftists whine and about their problems and expect everyone else to fix it except their own. You have to fix your own damn problems. You need to take the initiative and contact your representatives and tell them, knock it off, this is not what we the people want. We the people are fed up. It doesn't take an IQ of a 5 watt bulb to figure this out. So, you need to do something, all right? I don't expect this to get many views, but seriously, you have a voice. Don't be one of those people that just goes, oh, I won't vote because my vote doesn't matter. It's just one vote. Yeah, a lot of people, you get one person that'll think that. Yeah, not much. But eventually, some people may think that same thing, and you'll get, what, a couple thousand of people? Yeah, that'll skew the data of the voting. Yeah, statistics. Just throwing that at you. So what are you going to do? Are you just going to sit back and watch the country take away our rights? Or are you going to do something about it? And be rational too. Don't go out screaming and hollering about it. No, be respectful of what everyone else says. And even if they're not, be the better person. Alright? Someone's yelling and screaming and hollering at you. You just sit back. Just let him... Just let them talk. And then eventually it'll be your turn. It's not our fault. And you're blaming us. For all what some crazy person does. It's your fault. You screwed up. You didn't act upon the kid in Florida. You could have prevented 17 kids from dying. All right. Could have asked what was in that guy's bag at Vegas. It's the little things that make everything up to a big deal. So if you don't react upon something at first and you got that something telling you, hey, something's going on, and you don't act upon it, there's consequences. There's a consequence for every decision you make, good or bad. It's up to you whether you make that decision to do it. So what are you going to do? Hey.